In this video, I am going to show you how to install Lombok library in Spring Tools with IDE. We typically use Lombok library in Java to reduce a boilerplate code. Boilerplate code in the sense, we frequently create a getter setter methods and uh, constructors, hash code methods, equals methods in Java Pojo class, right? So instead of creating this code again and again, we can use Lombok library to reduce this kind of boilerplate code. Well, installing Lombok library in Spring Tools with ID is pretty simple. Just follow the steps that I am going to implement in this video. So first, we are going to download Lombok library from the internet and then we will install Lombok library in Spring Tools with ID and then we will create a simple project in order to test whether Lombok library is successfully installed in Spring Tools with ID or not. Okay. Just go ahead and open your favorite browser i am in a chrome browser and i will just type lombok library marvel and go ahead and click on first link we're going to download lombok library from the marvel and go ahead and click on the first latest link that is 1.18.20 and you can see here the Lombok library available for different different uh, you know uh, technologies like Marvin, Gradle and etc. We are going to download Lombok library as a jar file. Alright. So look at here files and then jar. So go ahead and click on jar here. So this will download this Lombok library as a jar file in file system and click on keep. Great. Once we download Lombok library, then go ahead and open this library in a folder in a file system. Click on show in folder. Now we have completed a first step that is we have downloaded Lombok library from the internet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this Lombok library. This will open a Lombok project Lombok installer page. Okay. And look at here, here we have a specify location. So go ahead and click on specify location and we need to choose the location where this Lombok library want to install. So typically we want to choose a Spring Toolsuit ID location. So my Spring Toolsuit ID is located in downloads folder. So I'm going to choose a downloads folder here and then STS uh, folder. All right. So make sure that you choose the location where you want to install this Lombok library and we're gonna choose a STS location that is Spring Tools with ID location. Go ahead and click on select and look at here, here we have install or update button. So once you choose the location then go ahead and click on install or update button over here. Once you click on that then you can see here Lombok library is successfully installed in Spring Toolsuit ID. All right. So make sure that your, uh, you know, Spring Suit uh, ID is closed. All right. And go ahead and click on quick installer. All right. So go ahead and open Spring Toolsuit ID folder. And then you can see here, once you install Lombok, then Lombok library or jar file should present in Spring Tools Suit ID folder. And again, we need to check the entry. So look at here, this is Spring Tools Suit 4. This is a configuration settings file. So go ahead and open this file in a notepad. And look at here, this is the entry. All right, so whenever you install Lombok library in Spring Tools Suit ID, make sure that this entry is added in this file. Okay, Spring Tools Suit 4 INI file. This is basically a configuration settings file. Okay, so that's it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna see whether this Lombok library is successfully installed or not. Let's quickly launch our Spring Suit tool suit ID and let's quickly create a project and let's verify whether a Lombok library is successfully installed or not. Alright, 
so let me quickly create a spring boot project so go ahead and click on spring starter project here and this is spring initializer we use spring initializer to quickly create spring projects so let's give project name as demo and then project type as marvin packaging jar george and eleven language java and then group id keep default everything as it is and we are just creating a you know sample project to demonstrate whether the lombok is installed or not go ahead and click on next and this is spring boot version so this is default and stable version recommended by spring boot so let's keep as it is and here we're gonna choose lombok dependency so go ahead and pick up lombok dependency so once you select lombok library it is available in selected section here and that's it so go ahead and click on finish so this will create a new brand spring boot application in spring to suit id so you can observe here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna create a simple class okay and we add lombok annotation to it and we'll test whether the methods are available or not so i'm going to create a new class here and let's say student all right and i'm going to quickly add some field private long id private string first name and then private string last name perfect now we don't create the getter setter methods or constructors or hash code methods or equals method for this student class we're gonna use a lombok annotation for example we can use at the rate setter annotation to get a setter methods for these private fields and we can also use at the rate getter uh, annotation to get a getter getter uh, methods for these private uh, variables or we can use at the rate you know all argument constructor to create a constructor with all the you know arguments for student class and we can also use at the rate equals and hash code annotation to get hash code method and equals method for this student class so instead of creating a boilerplate code like getter setter methods constructors equals hash code methods we can use lombok annotation to reduce the boilerplate code all right so lombok also provides someone annotation which is equivalent to all these annotations that is at the rate data annotation so we typically use add data annotation in project instead of adding other annotations like uh, setter getter all argument constructor equals and hash code we typically use add data lombok annotation perfect now let's go ahead and let's create an instance of student class and let us see whether uh, getter setter methods and other methods available for this or not so go ahead and open demo application and go inside a main method and here i am going to create a student of uh, you know class instance here all right and i am going to set some values using setter method student dot set yeah so look at here setter methods are available even though we haven't created a setter methods we just added add data lombok annotation and we can able to get a set setter methods for you know instance variables set first name ramesh and student dot last name padatari all right and we're gonna add id student dot set id as 100 and then we're gonna simply print these values student dot get id and then sys out student dot get post name 
and then again sys out student dot get last name so let's go and let's run this Spring Boot project right click run as Java application and look at here student ID first name last name is successfully printed on a console it means that we have successfully installed Lombok library in Spring Tools with ID and we have demonstrated like we have created a simple project in order to test whether a Lombok library is successfully installed or not. And if you open pom.xml, we have added a Lombok library to our project. Okay. That's it. It's very simple. Okay. Great.